morning guys so welcome to another vlog i feel like i haven't vlogged i say it's every single vlog but i don't think i've vlogged in like two or three weeks now um so i thought i would just pick up the camera and vlog now so it's currently thursday midday um i've just been filming some bits and bobs this morning and tying up some loose ends because tomorrow is a very exciting day uh we have a house viewing up in london which i'm so happy about and i love it so i will let you know how that goes tomorrow got some bits from bare minerals this morning i don't actually know what these are i haven't opened them yet but as you guys know i'm obsessed with bare minerals so it's a bronzer and a highlighter and actually i just saw on my friend's story who also got this that this bronzer has fake tan in it so when you wear it it actually like tans your face which is kind of scary it's kind of a scary thought because <laughs> i don't want like a streak of tan but i mean i'm sure it's super subtle so this is the faux tan one which looks like this i actually already have this i'm pretty sure um and it's lovely if it is the one i'm thinking of and then i also have a highlighter so the highlighter is also a powder in the color free i'm a bit funny about highlighters um i like highlighters when they're in like a blush form so i actually use a blush a, a highlighter from bare minerals which is actually like a blush so i always thought it was blush until i went to link it for you guys and i was like this is a highlighter so i like highlighters when they're in blushes or when they're liquid but this kind of highlighter actually really scares me and i feel like i've never been able to put something like that on and make it look nice <laughs> also got some bits from uh missima tony just gave me this coffee Ugh. i'm an instant coffee girl he's like a full-on barista coffee man and it actually can feel my heart pounding <laughs> so from missoma missima missoma confuses me um these earrings are new these are the same as the bio hoops so i wear a pair of, i wear a few pairs of hoops so one of them i always wear is the bio hoops and they're like quite thick quite big and they have like these dotty bits on them so this is the mini version of them which i love i think they're so nice and then they also sent me a few more bits these ones i've got because i thought they're gonna focus come on yeah there we go so i thought these would be really cute for my second hole so i only have a second piercing in one ear i'm pretty sure i think I, yeah i have three well i have two in this ear and then i pierced the other one the other day and then i also have uh one in the other ear oh cute i like that i feel like i never have any um earrings to go in that second hole always just i always put like hoops in it or something so cute and then the final thing i got was these gorgeous little earrings there you go so they're kind of like a little wishbone style and you obviously put them in your ear and they kind of make it look like you've got two little piercings on if you know what i mean so like this would hook around your ear and then you have like kind of two sparkly um kind of like hoops effect so i thought that would be super cute especially with the ones that i just put in my second lobe so that's what I got from there. And then um, I have some bits in from L'Oreal. Skin Paradise Tinted Water Cream Perfecting Healthy Glow. And it says caring waters plus mineral pigments. And it's got SPF 20 in it. So I think it's going to be like a CC cream or a BB cream. Um, which I have never really used before. So I don't know why I'm liking it to that. Because I don't know what they're like. <laughs> But I'm feeling like this is going to be a gorgeous no makeup, makeup day makeup. <laughs> and there's a lot of makeups. Or like a holiday makeup. And I've tried it on my hand. And it just blends away really, really nicely. And it's like, doesn't feel like, it's, I feel like I've just put like moisturiser on my hand. Also, this is the mascara, which is called Lash Paradise. Again, I forgot to try this one this morning. But this looks like my kind of brush. Can you see? probably not it's nice and thick um whilst we're talking about lashes i keep going back and forth about getting my lash extensions back on and i'm just not sure what to do because every time i booked an appointment already and then i cancelled it because i didn't i got like scared and i was like eh, i don't know if i want to put them on anymore and then i clicked on an old video of mine where i had them on and i was like oh my god why did i cancel that appointment so then i rebooked it in so now i'm booked in for the end of july um at fox and vamp of course but I'm just, I don't know. I'm in two minds. I don't know if I should get them done or not. Again, I mean, I'll probably get them done. I'll definitely get them done next time I go on holiday and stuff. But I don't know if I want to get into the routine of having them on all the time. And then having to like get them redone every 
like month so that's my lash dilemma first world problems <laughs> hey, i have to sit like this because otherwise that's not good lighting anyway i don't know what i just filmed in the house because i was in a mad rush so if i didn't put it in basically johnny and i are off to london today um to go and view a house which is super exciting and i've literally fallen in love with it from the pictures and the video that the estate agent sent over so um it's in southwest and yeah we're gonna go have a viewing at that we did have two booked but um the other one was only four beds and it's just too small for us we need at least at least five well we need four beds and other things so we basically this one is a five bed is that right yeah five bed and that's like the right size for us and it has a utility and it has like two offices that we can use um because we're both obviously work from home so it basically it's perfect it's quite expensive it's a little bit over budget but um uh -huh, i really want it so that's what we're doing today we are heading up to go and look at that um i also dropped beanie off at doggy daycare today um basically where he gets groomed at he they have like a doggy daycare and like walking service so he went in for a little groom at like 8 15 this morning and then he's going on a group dog walk with all the other doggies and then he's gonna have like daycare and then they're gonna drop him back home at our house at four o'clock this afternoon which i think is so handy like just as we're leaving winchester or well, hopefully leaving winchester um i find out about this company and i'm like how did i not know about you for the last two years it's so cool so he's super happy i've been stalking their instagram watching him playing oh my baby um but yeah anyway that's what today's plan is i'm heading up to london everyone keep your fingers crossed for me i will let you know how we get on when i get back in the car so, so it is a Nadia's little while. Been drinking. Yeah, I've had like three glasses of wine. I'm actually, I've not eaten today, so I'm a little bit tipsy. But as I said, I was gonna update you on the house. What did we think? Terrible. We don't want it. We hated shit, it. Shit hole. It was shit. No, I'm kidding. It was insane. Like it was the most amazing house I think I've ever viewed, even ever looked at in London, right? In London, maybe. That isn't our budget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's um, it. And so we put an offer in straight away. Like literally, I left and got back in the car after the viewing. Went on the website, made an offer. We went to our Aragon House. Our Aragon House. Aragon House in Parsons Green. In Parsons Green, and we had a few wine. Well, I had a few wines. Johnny had like a beer, half and a bit. half a beer. And then um, we had a few calls of the estate agent going back and forth with the landlord. So right now we're just sitting, waiting, praying crossing our fingers hoping i'm actually driving but yeah well you were driving <laughs> um you and johnny has work tonight like in like an hour and a bit two hours, two hours i have yeah. a webinar but anyway i thought i'd update you i'm not gonna say any more than that because we might not get it um i'm being like pessimistic actually so that if we don't get it then whatever right like i didn't think we were gonna get it anyway but if we do get it it's gonna be amazing and i am yeah secretly praying that we get it Anyway, secretly, I don't think it's a secret. It's five beds. I, I don't you're want just you to talk about that. Yeah, it's five beds. The utility, guys. I don't know. Like I've never had a utility in my own house. In my parents' house, yeah, I grew up with one. So the laundry was like out of the way. But in my own houses, I've never had a utility. So like the washing rack is always, or the drying rack is always in my space. So it's always in, like in our house. It's always in the lounge or in your office. In my own flat, it was like in the kitchen. <laughs> so to have a utility is what is getting me the most excited. Like a utility and. I will have two rooms for my office. Johnny has his own huge office and we'll still have a spare room after that. So yeah. Two spare rooms. Two spare rooms. So if we get Three. it. <laughs> no, two. Well, you'll have two. Uh, you only have that main office, there'll, no, be have three. Two. there'll be three Enter rooms. The so anyway, also there was like a floor to ceiling wine rack, which obviously tipped it for me. Um, Anyway, I will let you know what happens. What I'm London, hoping by the time this London goes out, we'll either have secured it or been told we can't get it. So you guys will find out in a few seconds, I'm sure. Good morning, guys. Um, it's Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I forgot that you. I was just trying to upset your mother. Um, it's Saturday. I actually went out for brunch with Liv this morning. I took my camera and I got to film it the whole time. You can tell them what happened. What do you mean? What do, you mean, what do I mean? What do you mean? What well, you just did? No. What happened when you were trying to get an Instagram <laughs> picture with your friend? What happened? <laughs> anyway, then? I forgot to take out for brunch, so 
there we go and now i'm taking beanie on a walk and this is how my doggy likes to sit in the car he likes to look out the window <laughs> i don't know if you guys can even hear me right now in this stupid car <laughs> um so yeah i'm going on a little dog walk and then this afternoon i'm going to do a huge wardrobe clear out so i might let you watch that maybe see how it goes um, yeah i just thought i'd update you there's nothing else to nothing else to talk about So it's a lovely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These are a Valentino. <laughs> Don't do that. It's um really hot sorry, but sorry, that and lovely mean. today. It's really hot <laughs> and lovely today. Basically, I'm in a really huh? What? I'm in a really hyper and happy mood because in my head I have this house. But I'm also, every time I get too high pride, then sit and think, actually, there's a 50-50 chance she's going to call us up and be like, oh no, the other couple got it. So... Right, we would have told you. Yeah. If they had given an offer, she would have told you. Doesn't you, mean we're going to get it. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll hear, about, hear from her today. And by the time this vlog goes up, you guys will know the answer. But I'm already like planning all the rooms in my head. I want a mood board on Pinterest. I want to source some furniture. You're getting really awkward now because it's someone <laughs> So I, yet again, have put off doing my wardrobes. And we're actually just, we came back in, chilled out for a bit, and now we decided to go out for a uh, drink. So it's kind of sunny. We're gonna go, I should I just put my, my, I need to put my necklace on. Anyway, we're gonna go into town where we live. And to either go to a pub or just get a takeaway one and sit on the grass outside. So I'm going to show you my outfit really quickly. Actually, all of this that I'm wearing is new from Zara. Um, I have this little cream jacket with these like faux pearls on them. I think they're really cute. Just a little basic tank. And then these paper bag jeans. And then my Gucci loafers. So in this camera, actually, that yeah, it looks better like this, I think. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go out with Johnny and yeah. Good morning guys, um, what day is it? I'm so confused, okay it's Tuesday, um, this vlog I haven't even looked back at the footage of anything I filmed and I'm pretty sure it's just a little bit random, um, but anyway we're picking the camera back up, <laughs> so yeah it's Tuesday, Johnny is away for the whole week which is actually really nice, um, I feel like I'm never at this house alone. So it's nice, I'm like in a really good routine, I'm doing a bit of work. Um, but this morning I am popping up for a brunch with Liv at the Ivy in Winchester. So I'm just getting ready for that. And trying to find an outfit, it's really gloomy today. So trying to find something that's still kind of summery but also not cold. So I've gone for a very classic Nadia outfit, I'll show you that in a minute. House update, so I'm still in love with it and I want it so so badly am i even in focus um but basically she called us oh these jeans are dirty she called us um on the weekend and said that what did she say why is my mind blank oh yeah she called us and said the estate agent uh, sorry the landlord is not ecstatic about the offer because we put in an offer um so is there anything we can do about the price um and also can we move in earlier so we were like, yeah, we can move in from like mid-August, that's fine, um, rather than September. And I said, in terms of price, he can negotiate with us, as in like, come back to me and let me know what he wants to do. And then we didn't hear anything over the weekend, and then she called me yesterday, so she called me on Monday night. And said that there's loads of viewings on the house today, and um, you should probably put in a higher offer. And I don't know how, like, I'm so terrible at, like, this kind of thing. Like, I've been renting for how long? Since I was, like, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 24. Six years. I'm not 25. <laughs> I've been renting for, like, six years, and I still feel like it's such a hard game to play. Like, sometimes you kind of wonder, like, are the estate agents, like, bluffing you to try and get you to put a higher offer in? Or is are they genuinely saying this because there's other people viewing it? I don't know. Um, so I personally last night was like, let's just round it up to the next hundred. So it wouldn't have been that much of a jump. And still a little bit below the actual asking price. 
Um, and Johnny said, let's just stick with our offer. So I emailed my lovely estate agent and told her that we're sticking with our offer as it stands and I haven't heard back. So whether or not there is like X amount of viewings on the house today, I don't know. Um, we just don't know. It's just a waiting game. But anyway, as my mama always says, my wise mummy, what is for you won't go by you. So if it's meant to be, we'll get it. As I said, this is a very typical me outfit. Um, I have a little shoulder pad t-shirt on from H&M. Can you kind of see that? It's like, it's got little shoulder pads. Um, I have a blazer on from In The Style. This is from Lorna's collection from like winter time, I think. Then I'm wearing these new jeans from Zara. I really like them actually. I do wish they had them in black. Well, to be fair, I've not looked, but this morning I was wearing them thinking I'd like to wear black. So I might change into black ones. And then my Gucci loafers down here my chloe handbag and then my celine cat eye sunglasses so that's my outfit um i don't know if anybody else is like this but when i dress too early before i leave i then end up hating my outfit and change so we might be doing that um in a little while but i'll keep you posted we are in the ivy having a little glass of champagne there and some lunch it feels really normal it doesn't feel like we've not been out for lunch in ages but because it's the first restaurant i've sat inside since Lockdown, so it feels lovely. <laughs> I got a little chicken salad, truffle fries, they've got chicken mayonnaise, and then champagne. Lovely. Guys, I have to come on here and document this because. I just got a call from the estate agent um, and we got the house and I am so excited. That's Liv messaging me. Where can I put you? Put you here. Um, yeah, anyway, we got the house and I cried. <laughs> I was on Zoom to my sister in Dubai when um, my estate agent called and she was like, I just had to ring you because I wanted to tell you that we've got the house, you've got the house and I just wanted to call you really quickly but I'll be back in a minute and I'll let you know, blah, blah. Anyway, um, yeah, so we have the house which makes me so happy. So I went and poured myself a glass of wine and um, yeah, shed a few tears because I don't know like how much you guys will know but like I've been in Winchester now for, I think like coming up for three years. And this was never my plan. I never wanted to live here. Um, I only really moved here because I became self-employed very, very quickly. And my family live in Scotland and Johnny's family live here. And Johnny obviously had his business here. So I moved in with him. Um, ended up that we just stayed here for so much longer than we thought. We were only meant to be in this house for a year. And then it ended up being like a year and a half and then it ended up being two years so it's just dragged i think october will be two years in this house now so we're leaving finally i'm leaving i'm gonna go and live in london and yeah i mean throughout lockdown i was like eh, i could probably like live here for another year um i think i said this in the vlog actually we looked at a house here but as soon as lockdown even slightly lifted, I was like, I can't stay here. I was straight back to how I've been feeling for like two years. So now that I'm leaving, I I can't even explain how excited I am. I can't. like I And also it's so annoying because Johnny's away this week. So I'm like on my own um, drinking wine at half past three in the afternoon. <laughs> I am okay right I'm being annoying anyway that means everybody can get hyped for moving vlogs for interior vlogs for um my home account which will be coming well it's already live but there's nothing on it um and we're gonna get a new dog when we move up there and oh my god I am just ecstatic just put <laughs> fake tan on and this jumpsuit is sticking my arms so it's friday finally um oh, i'm so ready for it to be friday <laughs> not that i've really done much at all this week but i can't remember if i told you what i was doing yesterday but basically i went up to london and had some filler put in i went to harley street injectables and a lovely lady called alice owns it and i've known her for quite a few years now i think um and yeah just got some filler put in so i'm still quite swollen i did hold on beanie is scratching himself i don't know what is going on with my dog he's so itchy his little ears are you okay are you scratching yourself should i come in here 
okay, I'm gonna put you in here. So yes, um, yesterday I went out to London and had my photo done. So I am still very swollen. Um, where I got it put in, I got my Botox topped up. That was what my original appointment was for because I had it done. But I, had, I was like, do a checkup and see if I needed any more, which I did. So I got a little bit more in my um, frown lines. And then I said, can we do my eyes? <laughs> and she said, no, not yet. You don't need them done yet. Not for at least another six months. So um, obviously when a doctor tells, I don't know, like I'm always been of the impression, like when a doctor tells you, don't like beg for it, like just accept it because obviously they know way better than you do. So um, I said, okay, and I'll come back in six months for my eyes. So that would be my tear trough filler, which is under here. Um, and then I got a tiny bit put in my jaw because we did do, last time I had um, Botox in my jaw, which is what I normally get. So it stopped me from being able to bite down like super hard. Um, and that was what we did as a compromise instead of my jaw straight away. Um, although I feel like it didn't give me a super sharp jaw. So when I went back um, this time, we got a little bit of filler put in my jaw just to square that off a little bit. And then I also got my chin done. So I don't know if you'll really be able to tell. It's very swollen. Like I feel like I can't move from like, I can't, it feels like, what does it feel like? It feels like there's something in my mouth, like a, like a retainer. <laughs> Cause I feel like my bottom, my jaw is just not working properly. Um, so I got a little bit of filler put in my chin, which I've had before. I usually get that in conjunction with like jaw filler, but obviously we did a little bit up here and then we just did this to give me a little bit of a point and also a little bit of projection, which means like from the side, it will come out a little bit more. Um, but that won't settle, I don't think, for another like four or five days because it's very, very swollen right now. And I'm quite, no, you can't see. I'm very bruised as well, but I've covered it up well. Yeah, that is what I had done. Um, I am very swollen, so nobody go down there and comment and be like, your face looks ridiculous. I know I'm swollen, okay? It'll look good in a few days. Um, also, I booked in again for my lips. So I don't know what I told you yesterday. I basically had my lips done about two and a half, three weeks ago. So, um, can you see there how swollen my chin is? It's like a ball. <laughs> It'll go down, I promise. Um, yeah, so I had my lips done a little while ago and I'm gonna get a top up again. So after this next one mil will be put in, I'll just leave it at that, but that's not for another month, so. So yeah, that is what my face is looking like. Um, today is Friday, as I said. My friend is coming around for a coffee. I've not seen her since before lockdown, I think. Yeah, I've not seen her since like February, which is crazy. So she's gonna pop round and we'll have a little cuppa. We always, she's like my friend, she's like my tea friend. So like, you know how you have friends who all like, you have like different things with them. Like this friend is like the tea connoisseur. So she always brings down really lovely teas. And then Johnny is back this afternoon, which is great because I've missed him. And tonight I think it's just gonna be a chilled one. So yeah. That is it, I'm gonna sign this off. I know you all ask, this jumpsuit is super old from um, Zara. Well, not super old, it was like last year, so it might be on like eBay. But yeah, it's not in stock now. Um, oh, my chin hurts, okay. Right, I'm going, Mwah. have a good weekend. Oh, you've already had your weekend. Okay, well, I hope you have a good week. I don't know when this is going up. <laughs>